All right, in today's video, we're going to take a first look at the Fallon Real Estate websites, which we call our brew. And this is our custom theme that is custom that is completely available only at Fallon Brands. And this is our house brew. Okay, so we're going to take a look at our house brew and I'm going to show you what it offers today and go over the components, why I felt they were necessary to build in and um, and and what my team has put together for you guys. It's an incredible WordPress powered real estate agent website with IDX and analytics and um, uh, community pages and WYSIWYG editor. So we're going to go through some of this so that you can see. Now, what I do want to I do want to state is, first of all, you don't want to wait on this. Now's the time to get your house brew because what will happen is as we make our sequential updates, which are going to be coming um, pretty quickly, whoever has the house brew will automatically get these updates as long as they're part of the theme and not some kind of separate license software. Uh, so, for example, we have uh, we have an infused brew and that one incorporates Infusionsoft and Infusionsoft is a third party product. So Infusionsoft is um, is integrated and sold with the theme, but it, it's it's a it's its own separate component. So anything we do, any custom WYSIWYG editors, any plugins, any design elements, um, anything like that that we build in, if if tracking becomes part of the um, theme itself, then it will update automatically. Right now, there's still some third-party uh, software that we're just integrating in. So you don't want to wait. Don't wait because I say something else is coming because you want to make sure you have it so that um, when you have it in the, and the theme updates roll out, you'll be able to get them, okay? So the this uh, house brew, I'm going to show you the front end and then we're going to dive into the back end, is powered by IDX Broker. Now, I chose IDX Broker for our real estate agent websites um, because uh, several reasons. One, they integrate, they, they release the IP address uh, with the lead, and that's important for tracking purposes, which you're going to find with your, with your brew with those integrations. And uh, completely customizable. Um, a lot of this design here, we have custom designed ourselves. In fact, one of the design elements I have on the way right now, I'm getting rid of one of these. I'm getting rid of these yellow buttons right here. Um, I just don't. They're still. They're still going to be buttons. They're more like this. I just don't want those big yellow buttons. I don't like them. <laughs> so that's a design element that's that's coming on the next round. Um, also, there's going to be some more. Um, these blocks are going to be a little a little better defined. So it's already great. Um, a lot of good things out of the box. But my development team, we are IDX broker developers, and there's just certain aesthetics. And certain functionality that I like and I want and so you'll see things different on mine than what you have and it's because we have customized it okay so any customization and design elements that we do with IDX broker if you have the house brew you'll get those um, uh, design elements as well as they as they roll out and as you know or as you may or may not know I am a real estate agent I've always run a top uh, real estate company here in Las Vegas um, and at one point uh, worked a very, very high level um, outbound referral and inbound referral. Well, I still do, uh, but I, I, I now have a physical team here in Vegas as well. Um, and it, everything I do is driven by web leads. And so it's either agent, real estate agent referrals through Facebook or it's Facebook ads, pay-per-click ads. But my main staple um, for web leads is organic search engine optimization, ranking on Google. And so this website was built around that focus. So that's what I really want to really want to share with you, okay? So going back here to the home page, I'll show you. This is a content block right here and where these homes are, and it's completely customizable. And it's got a call to action here where they can search and save homes. These content blocks, you see where they change colors? These are drag and drop, completely customizable and changeable, which I'm going to show you in a second, from colors to where their position is. Um, we intentionally built this to make sure that the IDX was above the fold uh, I, before anybody has to scroll. I also don't like, um, I don't like sliders or um, these big banners, these, these hero graphics that don't have functionality. To me, that's a waste of space. 
So we've got our search widget and our offer for home value right on top of that intentionally so that the user immediately, the visitor immediately has somewhere to click and go. I don't like that wasted space of just a couch up there. It doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> whatsoever. Okay, so then we have our, um, our icons here, which these are customizable. Your little icons can be changed and um, where they link to and what the call to action is. These, these three highlighted spaces here I'll show you are customizable. This is the pricing table that I have chosen to build and it is right here in this content block, okay? And our team will set this up for you, customize for you um, when you get the house brew and, um, and then you're able to play with it from there. There, we have a, uh, a concierge team that will interview you and talk to you about what your needs are, what your, what your brand is, and what colors you want, and, and, um, and that type of thing, okay? And, and they're going to need some pieces from you for your um, integrations with your IDX broker and your analytics, so there'll, there'll be a little, a little bit of data that they're going to need from you there as well, okay? Then we've got this testimonial block, and this is, this is one of my favorite things about the website, and I may change that to the word reviews instead of testimonials. Um, uh, reviews are the future and it, they're already here, but I mean, you're going to see this grow and grow and grow uh, incredibly. And what's happening is testimonials and reviews, uh, testimonials themselves have always been very popular. Back in the day, I used to have um, a portfolio, you know, a big black portfolio, and I'd put all my testimonial letters in there and show them on a listing appointment. Well, now everything's gone digital, obviously. And so getting, getting uh, testimonials from our clients, sometimes we do them on video, sometimes we have them email. But when we turn those into reviews where they actually go to Facebook on our business page and leave us a review, and they go to Google Plus and they leave us a review, they go to Zillow and leave us a review, they go to Yelp and leave us a review, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are, those are huge. And what's happening now even on Facebook is people are now going on to Facebook asking for a recommendation and Facebook has actually implemented a recommendation feature where now you don't even have to choose anything. All you have to do is say, hey, does anybody know a plumber? And it, this recommendation feature automatically launches based on the format of your question and it turns it into a request for recommendations. It encourages people to tag your page. Well, when they tag your page, guess what pops up? Reviews. And so people are going to see those reviews. They're going to come over to your website. They're going to look at your homepage. Boom. There's verification. There's your reviews again. There's your testimonials. There's all your stars. So this is a huge component. Now watch what happens. I'm going to show you a couple things as we click these. Here, if we click this call to action, this search and save homes, it's going to open uh, the, um, the IDX search box for people to search homes. And they can search by advanced all the way down to searching for horse properties or, or RV parking or... Um, you know, I mean, this is super, super advanced for the people that like to search that way. They can search by listing ID, the MLS ID. They can search by address. Um, they can do map search. Now, it's important that you have the IDX Broker Platinum um, Edition, and you'll be paying uh, for your IDX directly to IDX Broker um, when we set that up for you. But the map search is a platinum um, a platinum option. And then we, they can sign up for email and there's the uh, mobile option there, of course. Okay. So then let's take a look at the next content block. So here we've got homes for sale with pools under 200,000 and you'll be able to choose what those blocks are. I've chosen my blocks for a couple of reasons. Um, your home page has, has a significant amount of quote unquote, Google juice, non-technical term. And when you link out to pages on your websites from your home page, they get a little extra boost. And so what I've chosen here is uh, some of my top pages that already rank in like position two, three, four, or maybe number one for certain long tail phrases, but I want to give them a little extra boost. I really want these guys sitting at number one. They bring me a lot of leads. They have a lot of power. So I've chosen those very intentionally. They also are ones that people tend to click on a lot. And we have heat maps to measure all this so I can see where people click and I can see where they scroll. It's phenomenal. So, um, so that's what that's, that's why I chose those. What's my home worth? Goes to a home valuation page. Um, when you get your brew, we're going to suggest that you have a home valuation, instant home valuation tool. My team can talk to you about that and what software we use to incorporate that and we can integrate that for you. Um, that's big for getting listings online. And then um, I have my horse on properties. Uh, this table here is built with a WordPress plugin called TablePress. 
Again, we'll set that up for you. If you click on any one of those things, they automatically go to that uh, that item, Vegas Homes under 600, under 300, under 400. Um, I'll, I'll just show you one really quick. Let's look at Vegas under a million. I'm just going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. And there's the IDX there, okay? Uh, we find that these nice three-column widgets look very, very nice on the website, nice and large. This is all custom, how we put these little... Um, active statuses in here and the, the we've been doing a lot of design work on our on IDX ourselves okay and then uh, we have uh, the testimonials so if I click on view all testimonials I'll open that in a new tab for you and show you how powerful this is now imagine I just got my brew actually a couple weeks ago imagine um, what this is going to look like and how this is going to rank as I add in more testimonials and we can put live links in here. You can put little videos and images. Each one of these testimonials is actually a, like a blog post. And so you have the ability to add images and videos. It's a little WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. And you can design. I, I'm, I'm going to caution you about making it look too messy. You want this to look really clean and have those stars. So I really like these little links, adding the little links in here. Um, love, love, love the testimonial widget. Okay, next one is our market report segment. And this is something that I, I um, had the team add in um, because I want to, uh, uh, because one of my top listing lead generators through my real estate agent website is my real estate market report. Okay, and so when they click here, they can access the real estate market report, which ranks incredibly well in the search engines which brings me in listings. And here's good news too. Um, if you like, um, our team is available to build these for you, write these for you, okay? There is an extra charge, but we have recurring content packages where we can write your um, real estate market for you every month. We can write blog posts for you. We can build community pages, that type of thing. This is your little about section. And now um, I need to go in and play with this. This was out of the box default. Jeff, uh, my team put this together for me. When I say my team, I'm talking about my marketing company, Ballon Brands. Uh, this is this has a lot more ability to add on. And so you can have more vanity space, more about me space. And the really cool thing is it's done in a read more tab. So the, you'll get a nice clean little box. But then when they click that read more, it, it, it'll open the it, it'll open the um, the toggle and it'll give them more information. And Google reads that as well. So it's advantageous to go in and build a lot more onto that um, this section. So that's my homework. I need to go in and do that. OK, then we have featured articles and posts. And you're able to add as many of these as you want to. And you'll notice, like, I need to even it out. So here I've got seven. So I need to either put two more in or remove one because I think it needs to be evened out. Uh, but these are really cool. And they're so simple how you, how you choose which one is featured. And again, I'm choosing which ones are featured for the same reason I chose those little blocks. Which ones do I want to get more Google juice? Which ones do I want to rank higher on the search engines? Um, and kind of an even balance of hyper-local information, um, yet homes for sale information, okay? And let me show you on mobile. Well, let me finish scrolling down and then I'll show you on mobile. What happens is they can click on this, read more. And what you'll see is the blog post, but this is how simple it is to decide which one um, this is what the what the blog posts look like, by the way. They have a, um, a, a right sidebar intentionally on the blog posts only um, option to have a wide, a wide, um, a wide page for all pages um, or add in the right sidebar. And then, of course, there's a footer there. But let me show you all, how simple it is to add one of these to your home page. All you do is click edit post. And so you can when you write a post, there's just a little box right here. Look at this little box that says, they made this so easy, my team. I'm so proud of them for giving us such good functionality. Um, very user-friendly. Check this box to feature the post on the home page. Do I want it there or do I want well, not want it there? Now, if you want this page to be a wide theme, instead of having the side column, just check this. Hide the sidebar. It's that simple. Isn't that genius? And so simple. Okay. And so then, let me close out of that. And then we have... Um, then we have our featured communities. Oh, how I love these pages. Love, 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 love. Um, I, I really track all of my traffic and leads. 
And people search by neighborhoods, people search by communities. So it's so important that you have community pages built out. If you have neighborhoods or areas of your town, Northwest, Southwest, East, or they're done by counties or whatever it is, you need to have pages that, uh, that, that offer homes for sale by feature in those particular communities. And so aesthetically, this is beautiful. And again, I could choose just to have three and then have a button for them to see more. I can put more on here. Um, I chose more right out of the gate because there's, it, it's not slowing down the website. And on mobile, it looks beautiful. And there's lots of call to action. So they're included in there now. At some point, I may have less. I may have more. But here's, watch this. So here, view all communities. There's your little call to action. Notice each of those content blocks has a call to action to get them to click through if they haven't clicked on one of the, um, one of the boxes. And so uh, here's communities. And I'm not done building this. Again, I just got my brew. I guess it was a weekend ago or... Maybe it's been two weeks. I don't think it's quite been two weeks, but um, so I'm building all of my community pages out. Now, what you're going to find in, in um, is the community pages are super easy to build. And on our next release, which is coming very soon, um, there, the custom WYSIWYG that, that'll tell you, add the community page title here, add the image to this box, add a 500 word description to this box. And it, it'll just get, give you the ability to clean it up. Right now, it is a specific page, and it has the ability to add the title, and then it's got a WYSIWYG editor. It just doesn't have; they're just not as as um, as structured to keep it clean as they will be in the in the future. Um, so let's just take an example: Sun City McDonald Ranch. Um, this is a community page here. So the the um, if you if I were to edit that community page, you're going to notice it looks just like a regular WordPress blog. But in the next release, it'll just have a couple more options here. Add your text here, add an image here, add your IDX widget here so that it'll just keep it really clean for you. That's something that I requested just because um, I know that that's a struggle for people. Once you start adding all your content in there, is where do you put the video? Where do you put the image? Where do you put the IDX? How do you keep it looking clean without junking it all up? So the newest release is going to have that, um, that, that custom WYSIWYG template in there. Uh, they're almost done anytime now. And then we've got a little, another little content block up here that you can do whatever you want with. You can put cities there or counties there, or you can put just regular information. You can put SEO information. And then here, this, um, this table here is completely all customizable. Now, this is how easy it is to customize. If I were to click right here, customize, and I'm on the home page, here I can, just like I would on a regular WordPress editor, I can change the site identity. I can change the colors of everything. I can change these the menus. I can change the widgets. Well, the here here um, we can edit the page. And let me show you how the content blocks work. So, brew featured icon boxes. These are um, these. These are your brew icon boxes. See these right here. So here you can change the title. You can change the, the, the link slug. I won't get into that today. That's another lesson. And these are formulated for you automatically um, when you create those links. And again, the easiest way for you to do this is when you, when you order your website, you're going to tell my team which blocks you want up there, and they're going to set this up for you. But if, you wanna, if you're like me and you like to customize, you're going to want to get in here and play with it, okay? There's your call to action. And, um, and, and there's a little icon, see all icons. And you can choose different little icons that you want to put on there. Okay. So then you have your featured listings. So here, remember right here, I have three featured listings. You can change which listings you want to be there. It's just a widget. And um, we teach you and show you how to build those little IDX widgets. They're, they're very, very simple. So if you want it to be your featured listings, like your listings you just listed, or you just want it to be three of your average price range listings, or you, you specialize in waterfront properties, so you want it to be waterfront properties. And again, originally, when you get this, my team asks you and sets it all up for you. So you don't have to make any changes once we give it to you if you don't want to. So the testimonial widgets, um, oops, sorry, let me get back into here. So then you have your brew featured communities. Then we have our featured articles and posts. We have our content block. So it's just a WYSIWYG editor. We have our read more content. Then we have um, our featured cities we want to include. You can see they're just all little WYSIWYG editors. They're, if you can write a blog or you know how to open a blog, you could edit any one of those. And, and we have tutorials that can help you 
um, with those. But here's where you just drag everything around. So the hero content, featured listings, featured icon boxes, you can see here, here's your hero content, here's your featured listings, here, here's your icon boxes. It's this simple. If I wanted testimonials on top, all I have to do is drag up testimonials, drop it in there. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to update it and we're going to look at what it looks like. See, now the testimonials are in the top. What I don't like though is we pushed it up into the hero space, which is where this is. So let's do this. Let's go back and we go, oh, that's not where I wanted it. So let me go back and I'm going to go, oh, feature testimonials. Let me put it under that hero content right there. And in the next, uh, I'm not sure if it's the next edition or the one after, you're going to have a little pop-up video or a little image here, uh, probably both on what it is you're changing just so that you don't have to keep hitting preview. That's something I just requested as well after playing with it a little bit myself. Okay, so look, look at the testimonials. Oops, I didn't update. Hold on. We don't want those there. We want those under. The nice thing too is um, when you're hosting with us and you have the, um, the hosting backup plan, if you make any mistakes, Jeff can click one button and restore it to where it was. Okay, I'm not dragging something in the right spot here. Feature testimonials under hero content. I wasn't moving it. No, under. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, we'll let that load. We'll hit reload here. There we go. And now your testimonial block. Ooh, I kind of like that, you guys. <laughs> And then you notice your colors change on the blocks underneath it, depending on where you move them. So this was black, but because we moved it into that space, it turned white and now the back and the, uh, their turns. Um, so that's cool. I kind of like that. I don't know. I'll have to play with that a little bit I'll have to think about it. I like the, ID I like the IDX play, but this is what I love. I mean, how easy customizable is this to play with it however you want to. So I could say, um, okay, at, instead of the, um, Instead of the featured listings being in part two, I want the featured icon boxes to be part two or part three there. Update. And let's refresh it. So now testimonials. And now look, now we moved these little, but you see how clean it is and how balanced it is for you. So you don't, what I don't like about standard WordPress with any theme um, that has just a, the home page is just widgets that you either drop in, which is so messy or, um, or you're selecting blog posts to be on the front page or you're choosing, you're customizing an article or, or a WYSIWYG editor. This keeps your home page so clean. Now, really quick, let's look at what this looks on mobile. Let me just drop this, um, email here. Oh, there's a listing lead. Okay. So if you look at this left-hand view, this is what your mobile was going to look like on mobile. So you can see what happens here is you have your search widget, then you have your testimonials. But remember, I just moved stuff around. So it was listings on the top and then these. So we designed this for mobile very specifically so that, um, so that it would get a lot of clicks, low bounce rates, um, really, really appealing, what, you know, quick navigation where they could just click and go. Um, clean menus, lots of options. So we designed for the consumer, we designed for Google. Um, and so that's just a quick, a quick look at your uh, brew. Again, this is called the house brew. So look us up at balanbrands.com. You could go to balanbrands.com slash brew to see all of our website designs. And this is called the house brew. Now, if you want a CRM, with drip email campaigns and um, you know text response and all of that, then you want to talk to Jeff about the infused brew, and then you can get this theme, this design. But it, he's got a um, uh, we have a package we offer that has Infusionsoft as well. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll go out there and get your brew. I got mine and I am in love with it. 
just having a great time and and we're going to keep rolling out some fantastic additions and in the future i'll break down how the tracking works and and how the idx broker leads work the back end and some of that stuff all right thanks for joining me today